foundation routine how i do my foundation routine girl what's up what's up my heart attacks welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how i do my foundation routine as of right now i was doing my how to do your hair like a professional cheerleader dancer um video um i will link that down below if you want to go check it out so that's why my hair is up like this. So first thing you want to start off with is a clean, nice, fresh face. Got some red spots on my face, and that's because I was picking at my face yesterday. Um, so that's why. <laughs> it's red. Pores no more, Dr. Brandt. Put all of this over my face using just my fingers. Press like this. Dab. Gonna hit it with a dab. Put some on my neck. I don't think so. And a little bit goes a long way. A skin perfecting gel from Perfect. Um, my thingy broke, so I've just been using the one off of this. So this is gonna help with like conceal my pores. Cause my pores are huge. If you notice, I'm using my ring finger. It is the weakest finger. Color correct. Um, I've been using the Pixie by Petra um, Brightening Peach. It's concealer anti crease from. Bow cash shades. I have no idea. But I'm just going to take a concealer brush and I'm going to put this under my eye. I do really, really enjoy this one. I really, really like it. Like, this has like been my go-to. Um, but I'm going to try the brighten, the Brightening Peach that I used in my tattoo video. Because um, I used it and I was like, okay girl, what's up with that Brightening Peach? Conceal in the dark circles. Put this on my red spots. So here's the thing with color correcting. People think that you need green for acne, for red spots, but no. Green is too harsh. It is going to um, ash you out. I mean, unless you have like serious rosacea, um, I, wouldn't use, I wouldn't use green. Now I'm just decorating my face. So you wanna use yellow instead of red if you have mild redness. Um, like me. My Velour Lip Scrub by Jeffree Star. This one is in root beer. I think it's really gross that people just lick this off because it's sugar and you can eat it. But I'm like not about that life because that's like your dead skin and who wants to eat your the skin on your lips? It's gross. And I'm just gonna go in with a damp beauty blender. Face Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti Creaser, supposedly. I'm a liquid illuminator born to glow from NYX. I usually, like, if I'm not performing, I will put this all over my face, but since I know how I get when I perform, I sweat. I'm sorry. I glisten and sparkle. So it always looks like I have, like, a dewy this to my skin but it's really just sweat so I'm just gonna put this like inner type of glow just on the parts where I want and I don't even put it on my forehead because my forehead is the first place to get shiny and sweaty and nasty you don't have to do this step it's just I like this like inner glow makeup forever ultra HD found liquid foundation pumps on my finger and I'll just do it like this you can't forget your neck darling you can't forget your neck, even when you're wearing a choga. Concealer, this is the Lancome Anti-Crease in Light Bisque. Last night, I had a dream that I was the pink Power Ranger. Yes, I'm serious because, like, homegirl over here wishes that she was a pink ranger for real. Set it with my Urban Decay Natural Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in Medium Neutral. As you can see, I have used it and I've hit the fan. 100 from Real Techniques. Smells so good. Tab, tab, tab. And I'm just gonna puff it all throughout my face.
anti-agey race the wine dark circle treatment from Maybelline or I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills in banana not this brush but I'll take a brush but I'm gonna show you how I do it with the age for wine I like beauty blending it because it's damp, so it's gonna help take some of that excess product that I have. So this is where it becomes a love relationship. With my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder, it's the Translucent Loose. And I'm just going to lightly press, and I'm going to bake, baking, cooking, Baking cookies. Oh, baby, oh. I can feel it cooking. I feel it cooking. I feel it cooking. Bake, bake, bake to 400 degrees or 250 degrees. I don't know, cause I don't make cookies. Don't make cookies. I don't make. Am I ready yet? No. Am I ready yet? No. Am I ready yet? No. You should wait like five minutes or like ten minutes. I am, but I can't wait that long. I'm not gonna sit down. Am I ready yet? No. I actually don't wipe this away like some people do. Today, for some reason though, I put like way too much. More so than I usually do. Now, I'm not going to show you how I do my contour in this video because this is not a contour video. This is how I'm doing my foundation as of right now. Um, it's probably going to change because it's changed all the time. Well, not all the time, but whenever I run out of makeup, I usually always get something different because I'm like to mix it up, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed that foundation routine. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great life. Wherever you are, know that you are amazing and keep your hearts beating with heart attacks. Bye!